Hello everyone, my name is Anastasia and today I want to do a highly requested video on how to work on the nail biters. Here we have a short beaten nail bed and if you would like to know how to turn it into this, keep watching. This demo is performed by my student and current educator Marina. So here we have a really beaten nail bed, as you can see the lateral walls, all the skin is really beaten and the bed is really short, so it's kind of hard to work with the traditional paper forms. So this is what we will do, we will take an NSI form and then I will stick a nail stiffener or a form hardener underneath. Then we will measure a C-curve tool, which seems to fit perfectly here. Then I will curve the form together with the stiffener and then cut it. And now we can see that it doesn't really fit, so we need to cut it with the scissors. Like the shape of the hypenium is okay, it almost matches the shape of the form, but we need to cut the sides. So we will take the scissors and cut it right here, so we can let our lateral folds to come out and better fit the form. So we are cutting one side here and another one on another side, so these cuts have to fit the white of the natural nail plate, and then we will cut the small triangles. It depends on the size of the lateral walls. The bigger they are, the larger we need to cut it right here. So we first cut the line and then another one. So here we have like a small triangle. And then we need to do the same on another side. Since we already made this cut, we will know what's the place where we need to put it. Also, you need to have a really sharp scissor so you will easily cut it and then we cut another triangle and then we will roll the form again and try to fit it. So now you can see that it is so much easier to fit it because we cut the sides and this is where the side walls lay now and the form can be easily put on the nail. Also, as there's no free edge at all, it will not be possible to fit the form underneath the nail, because there is no underneath. That's why we will apply it right on the same level where the nail plate is. And this is very important, you should not go on top of the nail. Now let's take a look from the side view. Make sure that the form is straight. You can also use the C-curve to check it, put it inside curve it even better to make sure the curve is really nice and symmetrical on all sides. The central line that is on the form should be right in the center, it should not go to the one side or to the other. And once we are happy with the curve, we can put out the seeker stick and also we need to check it from this view, just turn the finger around and make sure that it goes straight compared to the other nails. We are going to do a square shape now, so the form should go straight, it should not go more narrow on the edge as well as it should not go wider, so you can use the scissors to make sure that it's completely straight. Also, I do not recommend to make the snails long because the nail bed, natural nail bed is really short, so it's recommended to do short to medium length because it will be really hard to wear the long nails and get used to them, especially for the nail biters. So once we are sure that the nail plate is prepped, we need to apply dehydrator and primer and then we will start the application. So first we will take the bead with the cover pink, we are using Peach Blush by NSI, take a large bead right here, part goes on the form, part goes on the nail plate and we will do the reverse smile line in order to make the nail bed look longer. So we will form the smile line in reverse mode, working with the brush number 8, 
this is very important to stretch the color so it will be really thin near the cuticle and as you can see it is much thicker on the edge because this is where our smile line will go so make sure that the corners are completely symmetrical they are sharp they are on the same level and the largest the thickest part of the product will be in the center this is where the apex will be so it is always better to work as long as you can with a brush until the product allows you to so you won't need to fix it afterwards also make sure you press the product right here near the sidewalls near the cuticle and once we are done with the smile line we will take a small bead of semi-translucent pink which is radiant pink by NSI and place it near the cuticle I recommend to always use transparent colors near the cuticle because they have a better adhesion as there is no uh, additional colors into it and also the nails will look more natural when they will start to outgrow it will also look better because our nails are usually slightly lighter near the cuticle area then we will stretch it check it from the side view if you see that you need to add more just add more take another additional bead carefully stretch it and add whatever you need to this is very important to build the nail bed first until you start working with the free edge once again make sure that the form is clean and we will do the free edge so we decided to use a light purple color and we will take pretty large bead and place it right here and then carefully start to press it towards the smile line so it is better to create smile line first and then to work with the rest of the product so we are forming the square shape working on the side walls and also it is very important to work with the whole body of your brush not only with the tip of it and try to make the surface as even as possible and we already know that in the center there is kind of too much product so we will not add more of the violet there because it will be filed off anyways but we can clearly see that there's definitely not enough product on the side in the corners so that's why we will take a small additional bead place it right here stretch so we can have a nice smile line corners and we will do the same on the other side and it's okay if you don't have enough product from the first time because the smile line here we are creating it's pretty deep so it's okay to use a multiple beads just make sure you stretch them really well so after filing you will not see any differences or marbling effect in the color so now this is important to work with the body of your brush to make sure it is all nice and even here we have a small distance between the cover pink and the color so we need to fill it in because if we don't after filing we might have a small holes in there which is not good and once you're happy with the product we will check it so once you hear the slight sound it should not be too hard it is time to take off the form which is kind of tricky with this kind of nails because we cut it and it goes pretty deep um, so first we separate the form then I recommend to separate it right here you can use scissors or pusher or any other tool to make sure the form is separated from the product so once it's separated you can do the same on the other side and never press too much just carefully separate it and take it off okay so now we want our nails to look really narrow and curved that's why we will pinch it and this is the most important rule in pinching it should not hurt if it hurts if your client feels pain you are definitely doing something wrong whether you're pressing too hard or doing it at the wrong moment too early or too late or you're pressing at the wrong spot we should press only on the product not on the natural nail plate 
So we slightly press just to make sure that the product goes as a curve and now it's time to file it. So we usually start with the length. Here we're using 150 endurance by NSI file and after that we will file the surface. When we are done with filing and shaping, we only need to remove the dust, apply a top coat, and here is the result. So this is the finished pink and white. We use pink and violet to do the free edge, and this is what we had at the beginning. The short nail beds, the typical nail biter nails, and this is what it turned into. Let me guys know if you have many nail biter clients and how do you work with them? Do you use forms or tips? And also let me know if this video was helpful for you. If this is first time watching my channel, do not forget to subscribe as I post different nail art videos, tutorials, tips and tricks for nail technicians every week. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.